For a really long time, individuals have imagined what life may resemble in different universes. Thanks to the James Webb Space Telescope, the most sophisticated telescope in existence, that question can finally be answered. While observing the closest star system to us, Proxima Centauri, which is only four light years away, scientists have seen a couple of unexpected irregularities from one of the planets in the system, Proxima b. These irregularities, called artificial lights, have confounded the best minds in astronomical research. What do these lights suggest? Could they imply the presence of intelligent life on the planet? Join us as we explore the James Webb's disturbing revelation of city lights that could change everything. The only life we are currently aware of is on Earth. Since the start of human civilization, people have wondered whether there is life elsewhere in the universe. To lead such an interstellar search, American astronomers Jill Tarter and Thomas Pearson launched the search for extraterrestrial intelligence, SETI, project in 1984. The task aimed to detect spaceborne radio transmissions, as radio waves can travel farther and are more likely to be detected. Despite efforts with the Allen Telescope Array in the Californian mountains, no definitive extraterrestrial transmission has been found. Following its successful launch, the James Webb Space Telescope, JWST, has assisted in the mission to examine a range of distant exoplanets orbiting faraway stars. The largest telescope in space, floating around 1 million miles from Earth and equipped with incredibly sensitive detectors, has expanded our understanding. Previously, no planets were known outside our solar system. Since then, over 4,000 exoplanets have been discovered orbiting various stars. According to NASA, the universe might contain trillions of exoplanets. The earliest signs of life beyond our solar system might be found in extraterrestrial vegetation. When the Galileo spacecraft turned its instruments back toward Earth while en route to Jupiter, it found a definitive indication of the presence of plants. The instrument detected the vegetation red edge, VRE, biosignature, a mix of red and infrared light reflected by plants. For instance, a planet like Earth covered in wilderness should have a strong, easily identifiable VRE signature. JWST will measure the VRE of faraway Earth-like planets in the habitable zone around stars. These could be critical indicators of life in the exoplanet atmosphere. When sunlight crosses a planet star, JWST could potentially detect it as it enters its atmosphere. The light's missing frequencies would then be identified through spectroscopy, where ions and atoms in the atmosphere absorb specific frequencies, creating a characteristic fingerprint that JWST can recognize. This method could determine the composition of the atmosphere and whether life is possible. It is plausible that life could exist on Earth-sized planets with atmospheres similar to our own, composed of oxygen, nitrogen, and carbon dioxide. By searching for components that aren't normally present, one could potentially detect industrial life. Chlorofluorocarbons, CFCs, used in refrigeration and cleaning products, would likely be detectable by extraterrestrial observers studying Earth's atmosphere from afar. If JWST detected CFCs in planetary atmospheres, it would be a clear indication of advanced civilization. Life on exoplanets could appear very different from life on Earth. Sometimes, even naturally similar extremophile species can seem alien. Extremophiles are a group of organisms, mostly microorganisms, that can endure conditions where other living things would die. Some can survive heat up to 250 degrees Fahrenheit, while others can withstand cold as low as minus 4 degrees Fahrenheit. Some can thrive in extremely acidic environments with pH levels under 3, while others are found in unexpected places on Earth. Since planets like Earth are more likely to support life than those with extreme temperatures or acidic conditions, it may be wise to start with those first. Prime candidates could have temperatures that allow liquid water to exist on their surface or orbit a stable star. The classification for our Sun is a yellow G-type star, which is rarer and typically has a shorter lifespan. The likelihood of finding planets orbiting red dwarf stars, which are more common and have lower luminosities and temperatures than the Sun, is higher. Around 40 light years from Earth, the TRAPPIST-1 planetary system will be the subject of JWST's first mission. It orbits a quiet red dwarf star with seven Earth-sized rocky planets. Three of these rocky planets in the so-called habitable zone 
could have liquid water on their surfaces. Despite having a much smaller and colder mass than our sun, the Trappist-1 star emits light similar to that of Earth. The most promising chance for detecting city lights outside the solar system is Proxima Centauri. A red dwarf star that is 4.25 light years from the sun Proxima is much fainter than the sun, so a planet would need to be much closer to it than Earth is to the sun to support life based on liquid water. In August 2016, astronomers discovered a planet with 1.3 Earth masses in this habitable zone, known as the Goldilocks zone, where the light intensity is just right for liquid water. Proxima b orbits Proxima Centauri. It's possible that Proxima b is an airless and active planet, given that it orbits its red dwarf star at a distance of only 4.6 million miles. The distance between the Sun and Earth is 93 million miles. Proxima b is in a close orbit that exposes it to strong solar winds that could strip away its atmosphere. However, it also receives enough sunlight for temperatures and liquid water similar to those on Earth. Due to its proximity to the star, Proxima b is believed to be tidally locked, always showing the same side to the star, as the moon does to Earth. Proxima Centauri is about one-eighth the mass of the sun and shines significantly less brightly, with only 5% of the sun's brightness. The planet may be quite hot, but liquid water could exist on Proxima b if the planet has an atmosphere to retain heat. Since the total energy reaching it from the sun is only 65% of what Earth receives, the planet is not particularly friendly to life. It is likely tidally locked, which means it always faces the same direction towards the star, resulting in extreme temperature variations. The planet also receives more high-energy radiation, including X-rays and ultraviolet light, than Earth due to its proximity to Proxima Centauri. Proxima b is also bombarded with high-energy particles during stellar flares. Unless it has a protective magnetic field like Earth's, the planet's environment is less likely to be hospitable. However, certain conditions could make it a viable world. Unfortunately, models suggest that the atmosphere of tidally locked planets might be prone to rapid breakdown due to the freezing out of volatile gases on the night side. Since we don't know much about Proxima b's volcanic activity or magnetic field strength, we cannot determine whether the planet has an atmosphere. Yet, an atmosphere suggests the presence of oceans, and the two together imply the presence of life. We are eager to know if Proxima b has an advanced civilization. It could potentially have solar panels on the day side to generate power for lighting and heating the night side, which would otherwise be too cold and dark for comfortable habitation. The discovery of Proxima b has sparked a race to determine if it transits its star's face as seen from Earth. These transits would allow scientists to determine the planet's size and mass, which would then enable them to assess its density confirming the planet's rocky composition and providing information on the materials that make up those rocks. During a transit, starlight could reveal the planet's nature by passing through its atmosphere. However, the chance that the orbit will be aligned so that scientists can observe a transit is only 1 in 12%. The star's tendency to flare also complicates matters. Astronomer David Kipping of Columbia University says, the star is intriguing because its warmth causes a rocky planet to absorb sunlight and emit it as infrared light, different from stars like Proxima Centauri. Additionally, the James Webb Space Telescope was specifically designed to study infrared light. Proxima b's infrared heat signature is key to identifying the planet's atmosphere. The infrared part of the spectrum has strong capabilities for Hubble's successor. For the first time, scientists will be able to measure the amount of water vapor in the atmosphere determine the abundance of elements like carbon and oxygen, and estimate the temperature of the atmosphere in depth using the spectrum that Webb is set to observe. They can use this data to make inferences about the planet's overall composition, as well as how, when, and where it formed. The best fit model represented by the blue line on the diagram incorporates the data on the known characteristics of WASP, 96b, and its star, as well as the predicted properties of the atmosphere. Modern web technology has made it possible for these measurements to achieve remarkable clarity and detail. The 270-ton gold-plated mirror effectively captures infrared light with its size and precision, facing almost no interference from other objects in space. This device can measure spectra and detect essential gases such as water and methane. Using data from this instrument allows Webb to identify the target's atmospheric gases and other components in the atmosphere. The James Webb Space Telescope, 
JWST, represents a leap forward in humanity's ability to explore the cosmos. Positioned far beyond Earth's orbit at the second Lagrange point, L2, approximately 1.5 million kilometers away, JWST enjoys a vantage point where it can operate with minimal interference from Earth and the Moon. This unique location offers significant advantages for astronomical observations, especially in the infrared spectrum, where JWST excels. One of the primary objectives of JWST is to study the formation and evolution of galaxies, stars, and planetary systems. By observing distant galaxies, astronomers hope to gain insights into the early universe's conditions and understand how galaxies have evolved over billions of years. JWST's powerful instruments can peer through cosmic dust clouds and capture light from the first stars and galaxies, which formed shortly after the Big Bang. In addition to its deep field observations, JWST is equipped to study the birth of stars within our own Milky Way galaxy. The telescope's infrared capabilities allow it to penetrate dense clouds of gas and dust, where new stars are actively forming. By analyzing the infrared emissions from these regions, astronomers can study the physical processes that drive star formation, such as gravitational collapse and accretion of material onto young protostars. Another key area of study for JWST is exoplanets, planets orbiting stars beyond our solar system. JWST aims to characterize the atmospheres of exoplanets, particularly those located in the habitable zones of their parent stars where conditions might be suitable for liquid water to exist. Detecting and analyzing the composition of exoplanet atmospheres can provide clues about their potential habitability and even the presence of life. One of the groundbreaking techniques JWST will employ is transmission spectroscopy which involves studying how a planet's atmosphere filters starlight as it passes in front of its host star. By measuring the changes in starlight at different wavelengths, scientists can identify the presence of gases like water vapor, methane, and carbon dioxide in the exoplanet's atmosphere. These observations will help astronomers understand the diversity of exoplanet atmospheres and refine their search for signs of life beyond Earth. Moreover, JWST's capabilities extend to our own solar system, offering unprecedented views of objects like asteroids, comets, and the outer planets. By studying these bodies in infrared light, JWST can reveal details about their compositions, surface properties, and even uncover new insights into their origins and evolution. This comprehensive view of our cosmic neighborhood contributes to our understanding of planetary systems and the broader processes shaping our solar system's history. Technologically, JWST represents a marvel of engineering and innovation. Its primary mirror, composed of 18 hexagonal segments, spans 6.5 meters in diameter, significantly larger than any previous space telescope. This large mirror enables JWST to collect a substantial amount of light enhancing its sensitivity and resolution for distant observations. The telescope's instruments, including cameras and spectrometers optimized for infrared wavelengths, are meticulously designed to achieve unprecedented scientific goals. The development of JWST has been a collaborative effort involving NASA, the European Space Agency, ESA, and the Canadian Space Agency, CSA. Each partner agency has contributed unique expertise and resources to ensure the success of the mission. From designing and building the telescope's intricate instruments to conducting rigorous testing and simulations, thousands of scientists, engineers, and technicians have dedicated their careers to making JWST a reality. One of the defining features of JWST is its sun shield, which protects the telescope from the heat emitted by the sun and earth. The sunshield consists of five layers of a lightweight material called captain, each as thin as a human hair but strong enough to withstand the harsh conditions of space. When deployed, the sunshield is about the size of a tennis court, effectively blocking infrared radiation and maintaining JWST's instruments at incredibly cold temperatures necessary for optimal infrared observations. The deployment of JWST's sunshield and primary mirror is a meticulously choreographed process. After its launch aboard an Ariane 5 rocket, JWST will journey to its designated orbit around the L2 point, where it will undergo a series of complex maneuvers to unfold and align its components. Engineers and mission controllers on Earth will monitor each step of the deployment sequence, 
ensuring that JWST unfolds correctly and prepares for its scientific observations. Once operational, JWST will embark on a multi-year mission to explore the universe's most distant and intriguing phenomena. Its scientific program includes studying the formation of planetary systems around young stars, investigating the atmospheres of exoplanets, observing the birth of galaxies in the early universe, and exploring the properties of dark matter and dark energy. Each observation made by JWST has the potential to revolutionize our understanding of the cosmos and our place within it. In addition to its scientific objectives, JWST will inspire future generations of scientists, engineers, and space enthusiasts. Its discoveries and images are expected to captivate the public's imagination and ignite curiosity about the mysteries of the universe. Outreach efforts led by NASA, ESA, and other partner agencies will ensure that the excitement and educational opportunities associated with JWST's mission reach audiences around the world. Looking ahead, JWST's legacy will extend beyond its operational lifetime. The data collected by the telescope will serve as a treasure trove for astronomers and researchers for decades to come. From unraveling the origins of stars and galaxies to studying the potential for life on distant exoplanets, JWST's contributions to astrophysics and planetary science are expected to be profound and enduring. As JWST prepares to begin its scientific observations, anticipation among the astronomical community is palpable. The telescope represents a new era of exploration, where technological advancements enable us to peer deeper into the universe than ever before. With its unparalleled sensitivity and resolution in the infrared spectrum, JWST promises to reveal cosmic wonders that have long remained hidden from view, offering a glimpse into the universe's past, present, and future. In conclusion, the James Webb Space Telescope stands poised to revolutionize our understanding of the cosmos and our place within it. By pushing the boundaries of technological innovation and scientific discovery, JWST embodies humanity's insatiable curiosity and quest for knowledge about the universe. As we embark on this journey of exploration with JWST, we anticipate uncovering new insights, answering fundamental questions, and inspiring future generations to continue exploring the mysteries of space.